Thank you, Aaron. Although I'm reluctant to say goodbye to your school class, I can't wait to listen to the next semester. So that's just from G3. Who will tell us a story about Sky Tales? Please imagine with me spending four hours a day, four days a week, and more than 360 hours a year on the thing of activities. What do you think it is? Harry, Patrick, Albert, what do you think it is? Say it out. What do you think? Maybe, uh, Radkeser or Adolfo? If so, you must get 120 by now. Fortunately or unfortunately, that's not what it is. Actually, that is my grandpa's dialysis routine. And the more astonishing part, he had been following this schedule for nearly 10 years, things 2015, back when I was still in kindergarten, like this guy. So, what is dialysis? And why does my grandpa need it? Let me tell you about it. Dialysis is a medical procedure that takes over the role of my grandpa's kidney. Here. My grandpa cannot urinate by himself anymore. He, he lies on the bed during dialysis, connected to a machine with tubes attached on his left arm as the machine cleans his blood. So, what caused all of these? Well, the answer is diabetes. Specifically, diabetic nephropathy. So, this diabetes, diabetes, and diabetes, Sebastian. I know it may lead to serious consequences, but it feels pretty far away from us, right? Diabetes seems to be pretty far away from us, right? Oh, sorry, but no. Yeah, you're right. No. According to my survey, in 2023, the incidence rate of diabetes among adults in China is 12.8%, meaning that 13 out of every 100 people has diabetes. And as for teens, well, the numbers are rising dramatically every year. So, what leads to diabetes? Many people will say that the people get their diabetes from inheritance. But actually, apart from genetics, our lifestyle do plays a big role in the development of diabetes. Now, please take a look at me. Actually, I'm a little bit chubby, right? Right? What a pop. Yeah, of course I'm a little bit chubby. And from my body shape, you can probably guess that I was a huge fan of junk food and soft drinks. Bingo, you're right. I love them so much that once I even dream of having a hundred pieces of macaron and tiramisu during my birthday party. And that would be great, right? And in my everyday life, I can't resist eating snacks. Every time I go home, I would grab a bag of snacks to take to my room before I started studying. But, a few months ago, I had a nightmare. Oh, oh, oh. 
I saw myself, only 15, sitting in a hospital, beating dia dialysis multiple times over. And the dreams really shocked me, of course. So, I decided to do some change. Over the past uh, three months, I haven't taken a single bite of cakes and didn't sip soft drinks. Diabetes may not be knocking on my door yet, but it may be closer than I think, just like it might be for all of us. Of course, I'm not here to scare you. I just want to share my story. That is because our house truly matters. And I also strongly believe that small changes, like changing unhealthy snacks to vegetables or replacing the like, bubble tea with water can make a huge difference. And exercise are just as important. I love playing soccer and I also encourage you to find a sport you love and keep it up. Not only is it fun, of course fun really matters, but it keeps you fit and healthy. When our body is strong, many diseases can be kept away. And, uh, and that's all I want. Uh, that's all I want to share today. Take care of yourself and all my best wishes to your health. Thanks.